This is the book of Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 10. It says, And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor had have I had mercy on thee. All right. Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. And I want to give a uh, peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lagakim that's pushing his word in uh, truth and sincerity, you know, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth, you know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in his truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe in all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom, you know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami camp. And Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakadash, you know, uh, Aruan Ratazah, you know, that means Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect of the nation Israel. You know, in my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakadash, it's going to be basically on how these other nations are going to build up the kingdom of heaven. All right, with the kingdom of heaven, which is the everlasting kingdom, all right, it's going to be our Lord Yahweh Shai's, all right, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. All right, which is by the fault the kingdom of Israel. All right, it's gonna be a, a, a everlasting kingdom. I right, for for us, man, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, also the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the nations that lineage go back to the twelve tribes according to their fathers. All right, the Lord is gonna set up an everlasting kingdom. All right, where we all are gonna be in peace. All right, the nation of Israel, the Lord is gonna put His law, touch, and commandments on our inward part. We're never gonna sin again. And we're going to have rule and dominion over all these nations because the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, gave Yahweh shall all power and all dominion. All right. And this, I'll read Isaiah 60 again. Isaiah 60 and verse 10. It says, And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls. And these strangers talking about these other, other nations, man. All right. They're going to build up. They're going to plant our, our vineyards. All right. They're going to build our, our palaces. All right. They're going to be in subjection under us. Let's prove that point. <laughs> This is the book of Revelation chapter 13 and verse 9. It says, If any man have an ear, let them hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. And he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So these other nations led us into captivity. Started with Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. All right. The, the so-called white race. All right. They led us into captivity, so they got to go into captivity. They killed us with the sword. They must be killed with the sword. All right. All right. And these other nations also. All right. This is the book of um, Isaiah chapter 14. Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 1. It says, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, talking about Israel, and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land, and strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. These strangers right here is talking about the Israelite foreigners. All right. All right. They're going to come into the truth. Verse two, it says, all right. Uh, verse two, Isaiah 14, two, it says, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. These, these other nations, they're going to be our servants and our handmaids. And they shall take them captives. And so they shall take them captives who captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. So we're going to rule over our oppressors, man. All right, those who cat us captive, we're going to take them in, cap tap in captivity. All right, Isaiah chapter 60, verse 10, again, says, And the sons of the screen shall build up their walls. So they're going to build up our walls. They're going to be our servants and handmaids. All right, the scriptures say the curses that the Lord put on us, all right, he's going to put on these other nations. All right, it says, For uh, so, and their kings shall minister unto thee. Yeah, their kings going into captivity too. All uh, these Rothschilds, Rockefeller, DuPonts, all these other, all these, uh, nations they going into slavery psalms chapter 149 in verse 5 it says let the saints be joyful in glory let them sing aloud upon their beds let the high praises of the most high be in their mouth in a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people to bound to bound to bind their kings with uh, sorry, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of irons all right so they, we're going to bound their kings with chains. All right. They're going to just how we had the yoke of iron on our neck. They're going to have the yoke of iron on them. All right. Verse nine. It says to execute upon them 
the judgment written, this honor have all his saints praise you, the Lord. So this is the honor that the saints going to have, man. All right, to 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 exact judgment on these other neat on these on these other nations as they had did upon us. The Lord said he smote us. He says, for in my wrath, I smote thee, but in favor, but in my favor, have I had mercy on you. So the Lord going to show mercy. All right. And these other nations, they going down. Verse 12, Isaiah 16 and 12 says, for the nation and kingdom that would not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. So those nations, they're going to be wasted. All right. They don't want to serve us, man. All right. We're going to judge them. All right. Should we say those, the nation, anyone in the house of, uh, Egypt that would not uh, keep the Feast of Tabernacles, I believe. Let me get that. There ain't going to be no rain for them. All right. Let's get that. This book of Zechariah chapter 14 and verse 6. It says, And it shall come to pass that every one that is left of all the nations which came against Jerusalem shall even go up from year to year to worship the king, the Lord of hosts, and to keep the feast of tabernacles. And it shall be that whosoever will not come up of all the families of the earth unto Jerusalem to worship the king, the Lord of hosts, even upon them shall be no rain. And if the family of Egypt go not up and come not and that have no rain, there shall be a plague wherewith the Lord will smite the heathen that that come not up to keep the feast of tabernacle. All right. This shall be the punishment of Egypt and the punishment of all nations that will not come up to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. All right. So there's a judgment. All right. We're going to be executed, man. They're going to have to follow our law, statute, commandments. All right. So uh, like Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 11 says there. So like, therefore shall thy gates be open continually because it's going to be continual slavery. All right. In the kingdom of heaven, man. All right. But after a thousand years. These Edomites, these so-called white people, we're going to eradicate them by fire, according to the book of Obadiah, verse 18. But these other nations, they're going to have their own land. The Lord going to uh, put them back in their own land. All right, but they're going to always be tributaries unto us forever. All right. They're going to always be under our feet. All right. Bringing in gifts. All right. Isaiah 16, verse 11 says, therefore, therefore, that gate shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night that the that men may bring unto thee the unto thee the forces of the Gentiles and that they kings might be brought for the nation and kingdom that would not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. The Lord is going to judge them. Verse 13 says the glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee, the fir tree, the pine tree and the box together to beautify the place of my sanctuary. And I will make the place of my fleet feet glorious. All right. So ultimately the whole earth is going to be glorious, man. Because why? The righteous is going to be in authority and the people going to be re rejoicing. The earth is going to yield its proper fruits. All right. Verse 14 says, The sons also of them that afflict thee shall come bending, bending unto thee, and all that despise thee shall bow themselves down to the sole of thy feet. And they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the Zion, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, I... I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles and suck the breast of the king of kings. And thou shalt know that I, the Lord, am thy savior and thy redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. All right. So we're going to have all their riches and the Lord's going to increase us. Verse 17 it says for brass, I will give sorry, for brass. I will bring gold. All right, so just how much uh, brass is on the on the earth? All right, as you yield uh, brass, the Lord said He gonna give us that amount in gold. For and for iron will I bring silver, and for wood brass, and for stones iron. I will also make thy officers peace and thy exactors righteous righteousness. Verse eighteen. <laughs> violence shall no more be heard in thy land. So ain't gonna be no violence. Should be say. Hey, the, the earth shall not learn war. Nations shall not learn war anymore. Because after this world, this third world's war, the Lord's going to destroy all the armies of the world. And they're going to have to, um, hey, the, the weapons, the strip say the weapons going to be uh, uh, burnt. All right. The Lord's, all right. The Lord's about to um, give us total control, man. It says, violence shall be no more heard in thy land. 
wasting nor destruction within thy borders, but thou shalt call thy wall salvation and thy gates praise. All right. So the Lord says there's no not going to be no destruction. All right. In our in our land. Verses 19. The sun shall be no more of thy light by day, neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee, but the Lord shall be unto thee an everlasting light and thy power, thy glory. And sun, thy sun shall no more go down, neither shall thy moon withdraw itself, for the Lord shall be thine everlasting light, and the days of thy mourning shall be ended. All right. Verse 21. Thy people also shall be shall be all righteous so all of us gonna be righteous man in the kingdom of heaven they shall inherit the land forever all right because as the scripture say um all israel shall be saved the two-thirds going down this side they're gonna have to come back through the elect it says thy people also shall be all righteous they shall inherit the land forever the branch of my planting the work of my hands that i may be glorified all right, this is the this is all for the glorification of Yahweh Verse twenty two it says, "A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation." I, the Lord, will hasten it in His times. All right, so we're gonna live forever. All right, we're gonna be all right as the sand of the seas, as the Lord said, man. All right, these strangers they're gonna build up our walls. The Lord smote us. Now He's gonna have mercy upon us, man. You know, so Lord, what in this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory. Unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash. I only give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruel. And I only give all peace, and greetings, and salutations to all the Lagakim. That's pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Hey, Shalom, Makim, keep pushing, keep doing Shalom.